Welcome back to Couch Bros. I'm Riley, and <laughs> I'm here with my good friend. Hi, I'm uh, Riley. This is, this is an awkward start, but we're going to go with it. <laughs> I'm Riley, and this is Levi, and we are playing Horizon Zero Dawn. A new game came out today. Horizon Zero both, Dawn. Well, Levi's already played a bit, so he could get used to controls, and he could actually I, play. I, I thought it would be a bigger game. I don't. We didn't know much about this. All I had watched was the story trailers. I didn't know how it was going to be played or what it would really look like. All I knew was it, it was third person. And it was going to be awesome because there were robot dinosaur things. I just saw scenic shots. I just wanted to look at a pretty game. But I'm, it's going to be totally new for me and maybe yeah. for you. So let's play. Yeah. And so it starts off without even giving us a menu. We get to choose what language. And then it gets right into the game. Obviously Francais. We're all French here. Francus? <laughs> Can we choose the Francus? Yeah. All right. Here we go. Oh, so excited. Are you? Yeah, I... Oh, Look into my eyes, Levi. Oh, okay. Look at this face. <laughs> Look at this face. Am I excited? Are you excited? I don't know. Are Ooh. you excited? That's pretty pretty. It's pretty pretty pretty, yeah, yeah. Look at this little deer thing. Oh, I have the volume turned up. I should probably turn it down a little bit. Ooh, he's got a... He looks like the guy from GTA. <laughs> Which guy? Michael. Oh. <laughs> well, now you've ruined this character for me. I'm sorry. It was just... I saw... There was an instant connection there. Maybe he's a descendant. What's that now? Don't like the cold? Don't stay in the cold. Turn down just for safety. We have a ritual to perform in you and I. Oh, they're going to sacrifice the child. Oh, good. I do that every Monday. <laughs> oh, my. Yesterday was Monday. Yeah. Where is it? The goat god must be appeased. <laughs> <laughs> Are you appeased, goat god? Meh. <laughs> Why do you never speak to me? Goat God of God, Goat Free. <laughs> your name, girl. Okay, so what we learn immediately is she doesn't the have a name. Speak it back. Yeah, hopefully the goddess will speak it back. So he has to go declare the child's name for, you know, the, look at that. I love the little text kind of coming in through the leaves. But he has to go declare her name, and then if the goddess declares it back, it'll be her name. Oh, yeah. All righty yeah, then. It, normally, it would be the mother who declares if you had one. So now we know she doesn't have a mother. Coolio. Usually, the whole village would perform, could be there, and the matriarchs would do the ritual. But they are outcasts. I'm sorry. Otherwise, we might become like the faithless old ones who turned their backs on the goddess. But their wickedness doomed them. To us. Splendors of creation, beasts of air, water, earth, and steel. It is one thing to hunt a beast, another to hunt a machine. Be humble and respect their power. I will teach you this one day. Give me a Skyrim feel from this mountain. Yeah, that's exactly what I thought as well. Oh, this game apparently does have different biomes. That's which, cool. Yeah, which seems very interesting. So there should be a sand area, which you'll be super excited I about. I love the name Bastion. <laughs> yeah? Yeah. And Anton. Oh, man, these people got great names. Oh, oh, right. What is she doing here? Does she I love his beard. The ritual? I love this old lady. She's great. Yeah? Yeah. No, no, off your knees. It's nearly time. Her I voice guess. reminds me of Betty White. You may speak yeah. To me. You came to bless the name. Have not six months gone by since we entrusted her to you. But we are outcasts. You by choice. And she, well. <laughs> I am a high matriarch, Rost. I bless whom I choose. Then oh, I'm snap. Honest. Yes, yes, now go and be ready to declare. Go. Oh, my 
mother, this child needs a name by which to know her. That your love may warm her life as the rising sun warms <laughs> all the earth. It. Speak her name! His voice echoed so that people are just talking about it. And so blessed. Stop this at once! <gasps> oh no! What have you done? I've blessed the naming of a child. That old woman you call that curse a child? What did she tell you about his birth outcast? Answer! I've done only what you ask. To raise it, yes. We said nothing of love. Enough. So sweet. Look at that. Look how pretty that is. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm, indeed. Ah, welcome. Big on the mountain. Please. Welcome to Rise of the Zero Dawn. And this is the menu. Alright, new game. Oh, I'm gonna go normal. Mm. Cause I'm a normal kind of guy. It's a child. Six years later. I love her hair. It's so great. Mm-hmm. The graphics are really, really cool. So from what we know so far, um, these people believe that the people in the past screwed up somehow by not trusting in this goddess. And so they've gone back into this primitive kind of notion. Go and see if you can find some of uh, like survival now. But for some reason the robots aren't AIs, they're just creatures. So for some reason they roam the earth. Well, we've kind of moved back to well, like thanks. I said, primitive times. Oh, she gathered berries. Children, come with me. No. She's an outcast to be shunned. But she's so cute. Yes. Look at the little feathers in her hair. Oh, come on. That's one of the problems with going back to tribal things. They believe some of the craziest crap. All right. So we're about to get a big amount of information that I'm probably going to talk over, but I will explain it to you and everyone who's watching. All right, we're about to get to play. What do you think of the graphics so far? It's pretty good. Yeah. Yeah. It it looks better once she's older. It looks a little interesting now, but yeah, it looks better when you get to roam around too. Down here, Ra. Ra. She won't hear me. Oh. Here we are. Horizon Zero Dawn, baby. All right. So we're falling into a cave. Ah, bats! We're gonna be Batman. I knew it. But I can right. get through. So we crouch. There we go. Ooh. Must be a queen of the metal world. One of the old gods. Factory. Wait, wait. Can we? I just want to do that again. The way she climbs up the stairs. But look at the way she goes down the stairs. <laughs> the little stumble. Oh, I love that. I'm sorry. I just I just really like everything about this. Yeah. Yeah. Ross said never go in places like The that. weird thing is that I like I'm enjoying more so now, but when I first started I had a little trouble with is the camera kind of moves from side to side every once in a while. So now it'll be like, oh now it's on our left side. And then we'll like, oh now we'll be mo oh, moving towards the right side. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway, I looked through this entire area, or most of the area, for collectibles. There isn't really much, so I'm just going to go over the path I'm supposed to go. Well, we can just do story in this. Yeah? Yeah. What do you mean? Like, we don't focus on 100% completion? Oh, yeah. I don't think there are many collectibles, but... I'm going to do a, a few side missions here and there. If 
but other than that, <gasps> a dead person. I'm gonna inspect it because it's shiny. It's shiny. More flashy. All right, Riley. You know what? Actually, thank you for your observation. <laughs> Ooh. Shiny. Uh, just the scratching of my cats in the background. Look at that moss. Mm, I could eat that up. I wouldn't do that if I were you. Why not? You get sick. You don't know that. You know how these times are. Look at this. This is cool. Lights. Everywhere. I'm so fascinated. Shut up, cat. Mm, Alright, so I can turn it off like that. But now I can see, like, electronic things going on. Cool. And so I look at stuff to scan it, and look, bunker door. door. Ooh, what's over there? Close. Ooh, a hollow lock. Ooh. Maybe this device I found can help. Ooh. Ooh. So now I will go this way. All right, and I can sprint. I love how well they capture the child, like, running, just like Leah. Most people won't know who that is. That's fine. We have a friend who runs like a child. They deny it, but we all know it's true. Yep. Ta-da! I unlocked the door. The Didn't look that hard. Yeah, well, you know what? It wasn't. I'm glad you, I'm glad you admit your... Um... Simplicity. <laughs> That's a really good way of saying it, I guess. But I really like, um the style of clothing in this game yeah because it's a mix of kind of like primitive stuff and also um uh, uh sorry one second i'm trying to scan this it's very colorful yeah all right i'm gonna play the audio some nice blue just so everyone else can hear it i rooted the message to your hollow group for viewing what uh, Ooh. we're learning bits and pieces of information but it's not till around over here where we start learning about what might have happened to the past civilization. And Nuclear we don't... war. It's very possible, actually. That's one of the guesses I have. Isn't that how it always happens? That'd be very stereotypical. They should do yeah. something different. It, it, I, yeah, I thought it was a possibility, but it seems different. Because what about a, a virus making society meltdown by destroying all technology? Well, the technology's still around, but it's well, like just kind of destroying things. Yeah, but everyone seems to be like. I don't know. It looks almost as they melted. Show me. Show me again. I can do. It's right behind you. Hi. <laughs> oh, she's. I can't help. It's just this. She's so precious. Look, Daddy can't be there with you and Mom, but we can still have a party, right? <laughs> sure we can. <laughs> This looks like it was someone's room. Ooh. Interesting. Ooh, look at these futuristic tables. Uh, ooh la la. Look at that. It's all angled wrong. I like all the purple. You know, as a big fan of the color purple, I'm a real big yeah. fan of this. all this purple. Yeah, so our character's main colors, when looking through what the piece on the side of our head is called a focus, um, we will actually uh, see everything in a blue and purple aspect. Alright, so I'll scan this. The two best colors. Yep. Well, and I'll play it. Year, Happy New Year, Diary. Can't, can't believe you've actually said that. Yeah, year. so right now what we're learning is yeah. they did some kind of celebration Captain for New Year. Um, and it kind of seems like, oh, just regular. Don't know where he got the party but, was someone, um, so they always said watching the clock what was it? Sorry, did it say here? Am I the only one who gets the symbolism of this? It might have been worth it if Skylar had gotten drunk again. Alright, so just kind of regular stuff like, oh, someone could have got drunk at a party. Look, we see this guy here. And now we're learning. I saw the living room community, the cattle slaughterhouse. So he's describing the people as cattle. Someone was handing out meds. Like being alive is just some pain to be eased. Look at that. 
Like, what What? Did, what looks like it would ha do that? I'm going to have to cut you short there, Levi. Do you want to just get through this little part here, though? Because there's just a little bit more. And we haven't really done much in this episode except sit silently and look. Alright, so what I'm getting from this is people knew about what was going on. And so they had a last minute kind of party going together. This guy shot himself. But everyone else, I think, took drugs that maybe made them have a really good time and then slowly die or something. Here? But I feel like it was some kind of suicide thing going on. There's a bunch of just dead people all around in this area laying in beds. Reminds me of my home. Oh, oh. Oh, I just missed playing that, but that's fine. Every Friday night ends like this. Oh, jeez. I don't know why. All right. As a fan of not sure anyway, drinks, before, I don't drink the blue Kool-Aid. Yeah, yeah. So only we're one about left. to finish this one part here. So as we end the episode, I just want to say, what we know so far is... It, what? I'm very excited about this. Oh, you missed what I said. I'm Okay, good. <laughs> I'm scared of it. But what we know is there seems to be maybe some kind of virus or something. Or maybe even something mechanical that harmed people. I think it's more mechanical just based yeah. on how this world kind of operates. Yeah, and it seems that it killed everyone, but everyone knew what was happening. Mm. And so they kind of went out on their own terms. And so we're slowly... So this is what we're learning so far. We're getting bits and pieces of information thrown at us. But it's very exciting. I'm so excited. We'll see you next time. Bye! Sorry this episode sucked. Catch Yay.